This is a public service announcement video for Volvo P80 owners S850 SV70 between 93 and 2000. Uh, maybe other Volvo cars as well. But uh, I want to let you know of an uh, issue that some people have that could uh, help you detect it and sidestep issues. Not sure if many of you know it or not, but the Volvo standard radiator uh, also is used to cool the transmission fluid. And if the car is turbo, it's used to cool the oil. So the standard radiator that is normally only used to cool coolant is also cooling transmission fluid and engine oil through it. Now. If you look down there, you'll see a little clamp there as soon as this comes in focus. Somebody clamped the line on there, but that is a transmission cooler line. And that transmission cooler line goes to the transmission. Well, the weird, strange problem is sometimes these radiators, before failing and leaking externally, they will fail and leak internally. I'm assuming that the cooling lines run along with the transmission lines and they rub together somewhere inside that core. And when they do that, somehow they wear a hole into each other and start to transfer fluid. Uh, the transmission system has a lower pressure than the cooling system, so coolant actually transfers into the transmission. Now, when this fluid transfer happens, it's normally a gradual process. The first thing that you as a driver or owner may notice is that your transfer of fluid into your transmission is causing your transmission not to shift smoothly anymore. So, you have a transmission is starting to have uh, shifting issues, don't ignore that warning. What you need to do is drive the car a little bit, check the transmission as outlined in the owner's manual or in the link provided in the about comments. If your transmission fluid is high or an extremely muddy looking dark color other than red, you need to have your transmission fluid replaced. You could use the drain and fill method. So, if you drain your transmission fluid and you see any milky looking substance, kind of like uh, chocolate milk or something like that, there's a chance that coolant is mixing in with the fluid and you need to stop driving that car immediately, get your radiator changed, and get your transmission fluid drained and flushed. Because if you continue to drive, the coolant getting into that transmission will destroy your transmission and then you'll probably no longer have a car because you'll probably junk it instead of replacing the transmission. Now I had a guy call me the other day. He said he's having shifting issues. He checked his fluid. The fluid was higher than it was supposed to be. He drained fluid out, added back uh, three and three-fourths quarts, drove it, three days later, transmission fluid was high again. So he stopped driving, replaced the radiator, flushed the transmission fluid, uh, a total replacement of the fluid, disconnecting the uh, cooler lines, and he's good to go, no more issues. So I just want you to be aware that it is possible for coolant to transfer into the transmission through your radiator and uh, don't ignore shifting problems and check your transmission fluid level. If you got any questions, post them below. Hopefully we can get those answered and help you avoid that issue. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here, and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.